Good morning, little Timmy. Hey, what's up, oh, man? You got on the hey. white shirt. I got on the white shirt. Uh -huh. Shit. What's up, little Ebony Timmy? Ebony and Ivory, shorty. I'm good, baby. What you up to? Back together, boo. That's what the fuck we do. And Big Dale finally decided to come to work. Right. Let's get this nigga. Welcome. Welcome to the party, sir. What's up, Joe? What's up? What's up, Timmy? What's, what's up, Pam? Hey, Pam. Got eyes, nigga? Oh, yeah. This is this is a shirt I did for my um daughter's prom. We wore it for my daughter's prom. That's nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's nice. Yeah, we was, so, we was team Diane. It's a little frisky. Hey, Celestino. Welcome to the party, sir. Good morning. Good morning. What's Good up? Morning. How you doing in the end over there, baby? Hola, Pam. Hola, What's Pam. See you tell, tell me about your weekend, boo-boo. Oh, mine? Yeah. Oh, busy. I was in Virginia, Deltaville, Maryland, New York. And I was all over the place this weekend. You were? Oh, I had a good time. Yeah, I had a good time. No, New York was off the hook. Man, shout out to everybody in New York. And New York is off. I love New York. I love New York. Yeah, shout out so, to Phil Jackson for the birthday comedy show. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, we had a good shout out. Yeah, man, man, my man. Dell came through. Dell came through to support me, man. I really appreciate that. <laughs> a good thing he ain't wear that fucking shirt though. Thank God. <laughs> They would have thought y'all was a couple. <laughs> God damn. Who, who gave you that shirt, nigga, Monroe? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. But the, the, comedy, the, the comedy show was right next door to a, um, a fat folks lifestyle party. <laughs> What's up, BB? What's up, girl? Yeah. Celestino. Hey, hey, hey. He sounded like Fat Albert over there. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a sex party Bree. next to the next to the comedy party. What's up, Bree? Show. Good morning, Bree. I know, Bree. We decided we're not doing Fridays because we don't get that many views and everybody's off gallivanting in the world doing some shit that we don't know what the fuck they do. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Please like and share this feed. Thank y'all for joining us this morning. If you're a first time viewer, please make sure you comment. So we can say hello to you, say what's up to you. Howdy. Howdy, hey, partner. I got, I got a shout out my man, Dell. Man, Dell never hung out together. We had a good time. We hung out after the show, man. We had a good time, man. Went and, went and watched the fight. Yeah, yeah how was that? I can't tell you, because that shirt, hey, Dell, Dell, change that fucking shirt. I cannot do that. You're winking at me, nigga. I can't do this shirt. I can't do this shirt, nigga. I can't do this shirt. I, I, cannot stop look I can't stop looking at your titties. I can't do this, though. Take this shirt off. You illuminate your titties. <laughs> yeah, I like they sitting out and shit, though. Why the titties look like they sitting out? <laughs> look like they're like winking at you. Come get them. <laughs> no, we had a good time. Me and Dale had a great time, man. We had a good time. We hung out yeah, and watched yeah, the fight, man. We had a good time. We had a good time. Oh, no. That was nice. That's nice. Everybody that came out to the show Thursday night, you had a good time Thursday night. At that, the was oh, yeah. that was really a good time. I, I enjoyed you, Timmy, and uh, Dell on stage. I think we need to do that at every show. We need to come in and talk about like all the shit we got going on because that was really fun. Yeah. We have, a good, we have a good fan base. They really do support us. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's up? What's up, Dallas, Texas? Betty Jean, we see you. Appreciate you sharing. Betty Jean. Yeah, Betty Jean. She's doing a a watch party in Dallas right now. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. All right. I'm gonna take my. <laughs> I said, I don't I like. I was gonna hit it. Give that butt a smack. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, you tell about yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And you know you said that was your favorite song. It was. It, it still is. <laughs> so listen, let's get into it, y'all. Aisha Curry. Aisha Curry was out getting her Millie Wop on. And uh 
apparently people were saying, Curry, she's going viral again because her Millie Wop looked more like a struggle. She was, um, let me read the story. It says, I, hold on, wait. Aisha Curry is going viral again this time for the struggle dancing at the opening of her new restaurant. Aisha was attempting to do the Millie Rock dance and Twitter <laughs> let her have it. <laughs> she was excited to open the fourth restaurant of her micro chain of restaurants, International Smoke. So she celebrated the restaurant opening with a little Millie Wop. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? So what? You know what? But she look, see Millie rocking in that money though. You know, it's just okay. that title, man. Hey. Let that be the motherfucking reason, okay? You bastards. Yeah, Give a girl a break. Have you have you bastards out there can dance your ass up but go in your bank account, but sit your sit your <laughs> can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> but your, your goddamn bank account like the WAP. You can't do shit. <laughs> Fuck broke, okay? And that's the bottom fucking line. Fuck yeah, that. So her bank account got rhythm, huh? That's all that matters. I cannot, I cannot believe that, that, that people, people sit there and go viral because she can't dance. Yeah, that's crazy. Next door. She can dance all the yeah. way to the guy. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So the next story is our, our favorite girl. It's the wonderful Wendy Williams world. Wendy celebrated her uh, first year, her 55th birthday, clean and sober, right? That's so, what's up. Mm-hmm, it is. Miss Wendy is getting her whole entire life. When she gets sober, when she gets she been sober since sober, like, a little debacle. We, so yesterday. Wendy celebrated her 55th she birthday. Today. She did it in style, and we mean that literally. She decided to travel all over New York City, changing outfits at every stop, making sure that she looked amazing everywhere she went. Oh, and because it was her birthday, Miss Thing wore a, a diamond tiara all day long. Wow. Okay. First spotted by the paparazzi at, shopping at Louis Vuitton and Chanel on Fifth Avenue while wearing a very cute, fun black dress, this one right here. And then... Miss Wendy went and changed her clothes, honey. And a few hours later, she was rocking this sassy little pink princess look, right? Like a priest. <laughs> she was attending a meeting in Midtown. She had changed clothes. Now she's wearing this classic chic pink dress with a different, amazing purse. That purse, that pocketbook, is a $50,000, $60,000 Birkin bag, okay? First of all, I'm not carrying no sixty thousand dollars in my fucking bag. I don't give a fuck. Give me, give me a twenty dollar, give me a twenty dollar, um, give me a twenty dollar wallet with a sixty thousand dollar credit card in it. How much? Sixty k, the Birkin bag. Yeah. Roll crown roll bag put some diamonds on it. <laughs> <laughs> They're just as effective. <laughs> just as effective. Sixty thousand dollar Birkin bag. Okay. Wow. She was, and she gave zero fucks about it. Okay. She said she defied every one of you motherfuckers to um and uh set it off like she set it off. Fuck y'all. Mm. Whatever. I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she is winning. Hey, man, I'm glad she's living life, too. Shit. I'm happy for her husband. Huh? <laughs> I'm happy for her husband. I'm so happy for him. He's sitting back, got all that money, ain't got to do shit. I'm so happy for that man. <laughs> I'm so happy for that man. Oh, that man, my hero. You never know he's my hero. Hey. That's my hero. He paid, he paid his dues, huh? He paid his dues, bro. Yeah, shit. Damn. I got the five man. I got the five man. I, I fuck with a man for that long too for for the money. I cannot. I cannot. So <laughs> apparently, up, there's a new superhero in in the making. Hold on, let me show you. It's it's uh. Oh, they, got a picture, they got a picture of the image of the superhero. 
Uh, no, but they have Miss Pastor here who's going to play the superhero. So look, guys, uh, our, our new favorite person from New Orleans said he's turning 50 on Friday. We know he want to know a nigga going to help him celebrate. Oh, hell to the year. So, you know, okay. you're 50 on Friday. Let's do it. Good morning. Hey, what's yes. up? So this the girl was on. This the girl that she played in the movie Creed. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Pretty. Creed. She yeah. played. She's in. Um. I think she's in. And she and isn't she the one in Men in Black's um international too? Yeah. She sure is. That's her. So the news revealed during Marvel's. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. During Marvel's Studios uh, Hall H panel at the Comic Con this past weekend. As the new king of Assad, she needs to find her queen. That will be the first order of business. Tessa Thompson, known for playing in Selma, for Color Girls, and a few others, said during the panel. She was obviously talking about Val what? Valkyrie, whoever that is, Valkyrie, who will be appearing in the fourth Thor movie, Thor, Love, and Thunder. The movie will also see the return of Chris Haynes Hainsworth. That's yeah. is that the guy from um, from the State Farm commercial, all state commercials? No, Chris Hainsworth is a Thor. He's Thor. Oh, okay. So um, as Norse, he's going to be Norse God in this. Right. This isn't the first time that Tessa has openly talked about her character's sexuality. She said in an interview with Rolling Stone, they pitched her. The character as being bisexual, as wait a minute, as what? As she is portrayed in the comic book. So the comic book character is not necessarily gay, it's a bisexual character. Really so? I didn't know that either. Bisexual right. character in the comic book. I'm not surprised. Stop! I'm not surprised. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that one. I'm waiting for that one. I'm, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the first straight gay super. I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> there he is! So, so there I, he so, is! <laughs> I did hear about uh, you. So they're using a woman and making a woman gay. Okay, okay. Wait, so is it going to be gay or is it going to be bisexual? I, I, I heard his first openly gay character. That's interesting. Yes, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they plan on doing that. And what what are they supposed to do? What you mean? I mean, like, what are they supposed to be doing? What what's the the idea of this? I guess it's just to integrate, just to, just uh, integrate everybody, you know, black, white, gay, everybody, just to get everybody. You know what I'm saying? They, I guess they want to represent every culture, every every lifestyle. That's all. Everybody. That's it. That's all. Big who? What's up, big who? You know what I mean? Just just and you know everybody. You know, I, I guess. What? I mean, that, I guess it's like that, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to diversify their portfolio. They, for, the L, for the LGBTQRSTIFVRST community. Elemental P. That's you like. Yeah. They now they're going to add an M to it for Marvel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. LGBTQM. That's crazy. Yeah, so. All right. Uh, so, more uh, power uh, to him, Yes, man. sir. More power. I'm in Greenbelt. I'm in Greenbelt, Maryland, big who. Big who. Welcome to the party, who. Good morning. Good morning. 420 Radio. Best yeah. radio station. Best radio station ever, bro. I haven't been to a radio station better than yours yet. And I. I mean, I mean and, I, and I've been in my own man, and I've been in Nikki's. Y'all's is way better. Fuck you, Lord Timmy. Celestino <laughs> <laughs> said L M N O N P. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes, leave that lady alone. <laughs> I told you, it's going to be L G B T Q and I H O. <laughs> Ooh, well, who doing Wednesday? Big Dale? You want Big Dale to come on the show? You want us all to come on the show? Let's talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it, Big Who. So, this is on to some sad news. 
apparently there's been an arrest made in the case of young Karen Karan Brown, who was shot tragically. He was an 11 year old. Let me read the story. It says the suspect has been arrested and charged following the fatal shooting of 11 year old Karan Brown. As we previously, as previously reported, Karan passed away after a man shot him during a fight that involved both adults, oh my God, and children, according to the Washington Post. Tony Antoine McClain, 29 years old of Southeast DC, was arrested Saturday and charged with second degree murder. DC Police Chief Newsham said that the motive behind the shooting is still unknown at the moment. Probably some dumbass fucking shit. Catherine Brown, Karan's mother, said, I'm happy they got him. Hold on, I lost myself. But honestly, it doesn't bring back my son. It's not clear at the moment what led authorities to the suspect somebody. However, any members of the community expressed their, uh, uh, many members of the community expressed their outrage after the tragic shooting. According to the news outlet, Karan was, Karan, his brother Clinton 12, went, damn, to a McDonald's near their home to get food for their older sister. Clinton hmm. reportedly became impatient and returned home as Karan stayed and never made it home. Damn. That is terrible, man. I don't understand these people. This is this is bullshit, too. Yeah. yeah. So, I know it was something stupid. These motherfuckers yeah. out there yeah. doing all kinds of... Huh? The motherfuckers shooting and don't know how to shoot. Shooting, hitting the wrong person and shit. Kill an eleven year old kid. And you shooting at another grown man. But why? Why are they out Damn, here? Just about shooting? Shooting? Like, that's Rest in peace, young Quran. That's the fuck. Why are they out here just shooting at the wind? Like you can't, you know, not considering the possibility that this is some bullshit and somebody could get hurt. That don't have nothing to do with your stupidity. They don't care. Oh man, that's man. bullshit. That shit has to stop. Loving your kid, loving your kid lost his life, man. Behind some dumbass shit. They oh, probably I'm beat glad they caught the guy. Yeah, I'm glad they, I'm glad they finally caught him because they had a they had a videotape of the whole thing though. What of the shooter? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see it. Did you see it? Yeah, they had it on the news. They had a videotape of the guy. He just pulled out. It was like at a bus stop or something. When he just jumped out and started shooting? Well, they was arguing or something. And I guess the kids was around. And they, and the kids were just around. But I'm like, you shooting around kids, though. You know what I'm saying? That's Right. What the fuck, nigga? And don't know how to shoot. They don't get shooting it. around kids. You shooting in the first fucking place. But you got innocent kids around. And you fuck around and kill a, a fucking 11-year-old <laughs> boy. That's starting his life. It yeah. sounded like he was... He wasn't a, a bad kid. He was out trying to do something for his sister. Now you imagine, now you imagine the mental damage of his older sister, the mental damage of the young man that was with him at eleven because he got frustrated. Yeah, like that's and this is my idea. you know. Anytime, anytime you die before your uh, your, your child dies before you, man. That's that's the parents, man. That's, that's rough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big who yeah. said the kids yeah. fight too. Yeah, but not him. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's tragic, man. That's crazy, young Kamala. Gotta stop. Gotta stop the violence, y'all. We gotta stop these. We gotta stop killing these kids. We gotta stop killing us, period. You tell me, man. You tell me. Baltimore. Well, we had six shoot this this weekend. It's every, it's every weekend. It's every weekend. Yeah. This shit is ridiculous up here. In D.C., they had It was six in D.C. Crazy, yeah. So anyway, speaking of uh, uh, LGBTQ elemental P, so California has passed a law now that they're going to ban gen gender specific words. <laughs> so one city in Ye in the Bay Area of California is eliminating gender specific words 
from its city code in an effort to make the city language less exclusive and more inclusive. In Berkeley, California, there will be no more manholes, <laughs> chairman, or police women. In the city's language, the references will be removed from the city's code and will be replaced with gender neutral terms. According uh, 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 stop right there. Yeah, we what? It, it, that's we, it, Man, hold that's on. That's what I said. Hold on the ground. Women, women hold. No. Uh, uh, women's hold. Getting stupid. They're going to call yeah, it. Is. Huh? Hey, what G A? He down in the. I'm sorry. Let's get politically correct. He's down in the um, sewer level. No, it's if it's a manhole, it's a fucking manhole. <laughs> Love you too, Celestino. What? Okay, we was talking about the boy. I ain't see it. So who said the story he got was the adults were fighting, and they were what? Well, and the kids were too. He got out on a what? The, the adults he were. Out. The story he got out was adults were fighting, and they were. And he got out in a ten year old, and they had got mad and shot into the car and killed the the boy. So apparently they got they was fighting. Somebody got out of the car, and they started shooting and shot into the car and killed the little boy. Who does that? Who does that? Stupid shit. Crazy. Crazy. All right. So yeah, talk about never, this. So, so, you so not never can't use the word. No. I'm sorry. Well, y'all y'all call them policemen anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's police, bitch. We don't always change the word policeman. Ain't no policeman no more. Police, police ass bitch. Twelve. Y'all call them anyway. Fuck twelve. Twelve. Fuck twelve. What does twelve mean? Twelve. 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 It's a term. It's just, it's just a street term of police. I wonder what it means. It's stupid. The mean police. I'm a. You know. What I mean? Huh? I am. A, I'm five o. Oh, I remember five o. Five o. Oh. Oh, yeah. Go back. You know. Huh? <laughs> well. Maybe it derives. Maybe I, it derives from what I, they used to say one time. Yeah. Remember they used to call them rollers. <laughs> What the bitch you what, Oh, Timmy. What, 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 you, you must have been a pimp. They ain't called they ain't called rollers since the 70s, bitch. Here come the rollers. Get that dick out your mouth. Here come the rollers. <laughs> Officer. Officer friendly. So anyway, fuck, fuck you all can't y'all. say officer. You gotta say officer. You gotta say it's an officer coming. <laughs> officer. <laughs> police <laughs> person. Police person in the building. Bruce said police person. They got that female officer. No. <laughs> all right. Don't forget to like and share this feed, y'all. We appreciate y'all for joining us, man. I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. Let's get on to the next thing. What's up? What's going on? Hold on. I don't see my um my yeah, note. I, 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 I gotta go down the manhole. So I am. <laughs> go down that bitch and get arrested. So you can't call it that no more, nigga. You gotta call it the, the maintenance hole. Take your ass in the maintenance hole. So listen, here's the next story. This weirdo right here, look at him, okay? He looks beyond crazy. This fool apparently has decided that it's a good idea to put a, he, he's fooling everybody with these disguises, okay? And, and really fooling. that's my point. And, and, this, and robbing people. So he's your hometown well, there. Mom wrote somewhere, man is here. <laughs> A local Atlanta man has police hot on his trail due to a string of robberies over the past few weeks. But what 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 people have been talking wait about is the man's choice to wear a variety of interesting wigs. 
and he's committing crimes. The Cab County police in Atlanta have called on Atlanta residents to come forward if they have any information regarding an un unidentified man who has robbed several businesses, including Waffle House, Walgreens, PMC Bank, Dollar Generals, and CVS. What? You got a low budget. You got Dollar General. Is his collection of wigs? Okay, he's opting for a different look for every robbery, y'all. This motherfucker is crazy as fuck. Okay, his most hey, recent. Hey, his hey, most, crazy. His most recent robbery was a uh, Waffle House in Tucker, Georgia, where he demanded cash from a waitress by passing her a note during her shift. Okay? There is no word if the man is uh, amid, wait, is armed during his robbery, but police still say he's treat, they're treating this case with top priority because the motherfucker is a freak. Okay? He's a weirdo fucking freak. Yeah. And what the that's, that's, a crime, that's, a, that's a crime of uh, necessity for drugs. How you know? Come on, man. You yeah. robbed somebody at a Waffle House? A waitress at Dollar Tree. Right. Dollar Tree. Right. 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 Waffle House, Dollar Tree, CVS, Family Dollar. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. Yeah. He, ain't try, he ain't trying to get rich. He just trying to get high. I think he just yeah. trying to come out of the closet. <laughs> he wanted a reason, reason to wear his weeds. Look, and this motherfucker is disguising it as robberies. Go on, on, take that dick. Take it. There's some horrible <laughs> choices of wigs, too, eh? Oh, not not just wigs. Look at this motherfucker got a choco on in that main picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he yeah, probably yeah. do this and everything. He probably be doing. Yeah. yeah, he just want to wear wigs and girls' clothes. He just trying. He just trying to get an LBGT RONSPOT community a bad name. Yeah, he ain't got no. Gun. He ain't got no gun. He just he just threatened to suck dick. Give me the money for a suck your dick. <laughs> he ain't got. No gun. <laughs> <laughs> they say he had no gun. Suck your dick. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He said the heat wave in DC kept everybody in. Oh man, it's been a heat wave all over, man. Um, yeah. the, that shit had me mad. Yeah, it was so hot. Huh? Oh my god, all it did was make you cut. Soon as you came outside, shit. Dang. Oh. What the fuck? God <laughs> damn. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That shit was terrible. It was like so yeah. hot. Oh, my God. I was just hanging in the super. I was just hanging in supermarkets for no reason, just walking around. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> look, just handing my fucking shit. You in there? Uh -huh. They like, are you stopping this? So long. I'm just getting cool. <laughs> I see, I see, I see this nigga in the movie thing. He went in the movie thing <laughs> Friday, and just came out this morning. <laughs> what? What you got going on this week, Timmy? Oh, in New York. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna be. <laughs> no, I ain't going away this weekend. This weekend, I'll be uh just out of town on a uh, vacation type shit. This weekend for the first time, so I'm going away this weekend. Okay. Relax, because I never Where get chance to do anything. I got shows up. Oh no, you know me. I'm, you going? I'm going to the harbor. The harbor. I got. I got. I got my passport. Oh, okay. I'm going to the harbor. <laughs> I, what I do is take my passport and uh, every, uh, every restaurant stamp it like I'm gone somewhere for real. I got Outback stamps, <laughs> all my passports. I got my green turtle, all my passports. <laughs> hey yo, oh, I'm with the Mexico, I'm with the Mexico last week. I went to Mexico last week. I got Chipotle to stamp it, so that means I was in Mexico. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Guatemala. That was in Mexico. That was Guatemala. Right. You went to Chipotle. You went yeah. to not the other uh, Latino where most of the Latinos are from. Not Mexico, but um, El Salvador. Yeah. That was Salvador. Yeah. You didn't even go to uh, yeah. Mexico. You went to the under Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. I, All right, y'all. All right. Huh? All right, babe. None, babe. I'm gone.
All right. So see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat station. So this is the one show where we do everything outside of the box. Because <laughs> ain't shit in the box. In fact, hey. all three of us can't even fit in the box. If you got if you got expectations, watch the view. Wrong number. Wrong yeah, <laughs> number. Wrong, wrong show. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Don't be putting Let's all your have a great day. day. Like and share the feed. Love you. Oh, that's it. No, no words. No magical. Hey, man, it's, a, it's a new, it's a new week, man. It's the beginning of a new week. Let's go out and celebrate life and be happy that we're here and just enjoy life. Just enjoy life to the fullest, man. As you can hear, with all these killings and shit going on, ain't no telling what tomorrow I'll bring for you, man. Just stay out of trouble, man, and, and love your kids, love everybody else's kids, man. Let's let's just get our community together first. Get us right. Love let's you. get us right, man. We love y'all, man. Stay drink plenty of water. Not gin, water. Stay hydrated because it's hot out there. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy. Peace. Love you. Bye. Have a big day. Bye.